Greetings, and welcome to the Almetto Howie Alexander Labyrinth, McCrory Y, Beatty's Road, Charlotte, North Carolina. It's been cold and wet, but we've been moving along nicely. March 12th is the unveiling and dedication. Put it on your calendar. It's sure to be a marvelous event. There are many, many stages and steps in the process of making a labyrinth. Some of them are very exacting. A good day making a labyrinth is when it's warm enough and dry enough for your materials to behave. I use a lot of unusual materials in unusual ways, but that's what gives us the beautiful effect that we're looking for. A labyrinth offers many lessons. In the making of them, I've learned quite a few. Here I'm pulling liquid latex that I use as a resist to get a crisp line on the rough concrete. This is the very last process at the end of the day. Sometimes the wind hits the latex and it actually makes music. Fascinating. And now let's take a tour of the labyrinth and see how far we've gotten. This is the entry. Remember, a labyrinth has no tricks about it. You walk in and around and around, winding and winding, giving yourself plenty of opportunity to think. A kid stopped and asked me what this was, and I told him it was a labyrinth and explained to him that he could think about his life and leave his problems here in the center. The glass mosaic will be going there. It's almost finished. I just have to finish grouting it and polishing it up, and then I'll take a photograph and post it. Someone reminded me that March 12th is only five weeks away. But I'm not too worried. That's time for a lot of good painting. This is the most tedious process that I'm going through in terms of an amazing amount of intensive labor. All of the rest of the steps only require a reasonable amount of intensive labor. Check back, and thanks for your support.